morning, my beautiful angels. My hair looks really weird and I've still got makeup on. Don't worry about it. I mean, I haven't really got makeup on, but it's this mascara. It just doesn't want to come off. Loves me too much. Oh, I will take the hair though, because I do look like, what's the name from the Grinch? <laughs> what's a little cute name from the Grinch? Okay, we'll do this. Good morning, angels. Happy Hunmas. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And it's nearly Christmas. Actually, it's not nearly Christmas. What's the date today? What's the date? 10 days till Christmas. Dad woke me up at 7 a.m. Loving life. Absolutely loving life because we are packaging the rest of the angels. So we went to sleep at what? Three o'clock last night? Something like that. Yeah. And we're doing the rest today, my little princesses and princes. If you're new to my channel, by the way, we're doing giveaways every day. And that is, this isn't what we're packaging, but we've already got the packages of the giveaways to go send off with these. But this is my merch that people bought yesterday. And it's just like, I don't even know. I slept very well last night because I felt so loved by you angels. I felt so loved. I was like, um, is that a hand small? Yeah. So if you're new to my channel, then we're doing giveaways a day. I'll do a clip now of what you could potentially win, angels. to do to be in a chance for my giveaway is subscribe to my youtube channel subscribe to my vlog channel turn the bell notification on yay the little jingle bell notification on and also follow me on all my social media my snapchat my instagram my twitter all of the links are in the description below and you just need to write in the comment section below your social media handle so i can get hold of you i love you say morning daddy hair's not even been brushed face hasn't even had any you cream got thermal on. yeah yeah i went out walking with the dog yeah although and look, look there's still no leaves on the grass still no leaves still no leaves wow. no but well, they're all gone now trees are finished no how need to do ocd how happy is he happy bunny i'm not going to do one of those long little things that you see me packaging everything because you watched that all yesterday so you're not going to want to watch it again so i'll try and make this vlog exciting today but what i'm going to do now the next couple of hours is package all this stuff so you won't see me in a couple of hours you'll see me in about a second but i love you still need to pack we're going to manchester no we're not we're going to liverpool today because i've got meetups this weekend Woo so i'm going to liverpool this tonight then we're staying there saturday and then we're going to manchester on sunday because i've got a meetup in liverpool on saturday and a meetup in manchester on sunday i still haven't packed yeah wonderful because well, i haven't packed haven't you no you can share my suitcase if you want no it's okay I know what goes in your suitcase, makeup, and it just spills. I actually put your makeup in a bin liner to protect you. Not that you don't have makeup bags. Love you. Love you. Shouldn't go through a lady's bag anyway, it's rude. If I didn't go through your bags, they'd be tortured and, and thrown away under the health guides. Love you. Love you so much. Uh, so Number 15. So yeah, we're going to travel up today, but I'm waiting for a package from Pretty Little Thing because I ordered some stuff and I ordered, also ordered some lashes. So I'll wait for that and then we can leave. The only thing about these, right, you rip off the end bit and it's like a clear plastic bit. Last night I had them in my hair. Like they literally stick to you. Look. Oh yeah, here. Oh, oh they're there. Got a couple there. There you go. And then when you try and get them off your hand, they don't come off. There we go. Oh look, here. Thank you, love you. <laughs> what is nice though is doing all these addresses, I've discovered places in England I didn't even know existed. Like it's amazing. Some places I'm like, wow. Oh, Imogen. Rubbish. Because I'm talking to my angels. I'm going wrong way there. I've got to concentrate. I love you. Dad says if we can get to the post office for nine, that would be better. So we'll just finish whatever we can up until nine. Ten to nine we'll leave. Okay, I've got to concentrate. I'm being silly now. I'm trying to do two things at once. When will you realise, Imogen, you can't do that? Oh, hello. Yeah. <laughs> Chris Brown's ordered one, hasn't he? Ordered it for his new music video, Hans. No, I'm joking. But if your name is Chris Brown, then I love you. Thanks, Chris Brown, for ordering one. <laughs> Go on, Chris Brown, you learn. <laughs> I don't it's a girl, Christine Brown. I'm just going, Chris Brown. I'm too tired and delirious. Just ignore me. Angel, this massive box. It's so cute. Look at this, angels. I've got my eyelashes in here. Oi, oi. But what's this? Open it with me, hum buns. Can you see there? Open it together. So I feel like you're actually with me. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
rubbish with things like this. She's just got scissors shimmed up and downstairs. Oh. Oh. Oh, don't worry about it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you are rubbish. Could have got my keys. Could have got a lot of things. Happy holidays. Love food. Imogen, honey. Happy holidays, Angel. Oh. We hope you have the most magical new year. Lots of love from Star, Laura, and the rest of the influencer team. Sorry. Oh my God, that's so cute. They called me Angel and Honey. Oh look, it's a balloon, but it's pops. It says Happy Holidays, Imogen. Love Boohoo. That is popped. Oh no, that's sad. Oh what, there's things at the bottom. Wait, 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 this is so cute. Look, it's got stars on it. Dad, we've got a balloon, but it's just, oh, Imogen. I just said my name wrong. Imogen, Bubby. That's really sad. Why are you so sad? <laughs> I love you though, boo. Let's see what else is in the box. Let's tip it down like this. Check a bit on the stairs. Hi, can you see me there? Oh, hello. Wow. What? Oh my god. Yes, to the lolly. Oh, it's cute. That one's broken, Imogen. Boo eyeshadow gone, then the high pigment. You know about this life. Gone then. Created and designed exclusively at the UK. Go on then, humbug. Let's open it, Angel. I've got one of these eyeshadows, I'm sure of it. Caught your eye. Well, shade palette. Go on then. <gasps> That's cool. That is a giveaway for my angels. Dad, we've got some more giveaways. Oh, I'll just put it like that. And then what's this? Oi, oi. That's a nice necklace. A choker. It is a choker. You know, I'm all about the choker situation, humbuns. Oh, it's got loads of stars on it. I love it. Oh, what are these? Oh, this is a jumpsuit. It's a jumpsuit? Oh my God, how cute and sexy. Oh my God, it's got like stripe details down the side. And then, I love that. I love it. Oh my God, thank you so much, Boohoo. I just like the card the most. Imogen, honey, oh, there is something else. Oh, this is nice, it kimono. Oh, it's a shirt. Oh, it's a two-piece. He's up. Oh, my God, it's so nice. Did you actually need it? What I got? Oh, look what oh, you made it. me do. Look, it's a, is it pyjamas or is it actually... Can Please don't be pyjamas because I want to wear it out. Watch yes, him. Yes, it's not a pyjama. Because he may well try and come past the camera. Okay. Chinny, it's all right. Stay with me, Bobby. Look. Look, do you like that? It's nice, isn't it? He's wagging his tail. That's really nice of Boohoo. Look, there's some ears and look. It said this, Dad. Where's the card? Oh, they said macaroons as well. It's the card, the best part. Hello, Lolly. Hello, Lolly. Look. Happy Imogen Honey. Happy holidays, Angel. We hope you have the most magical new year. Lots of love from Star Laura and the rest of the influencers. And look, it says my name on the balloon, but I popped it accidentally, I think. Mm. And they sent me clothes and lots of stuff, but there's more giveaway bits. Say thank you, Boohoo. We love you. <laughs> more eyelashes have we got in here, hand. I ordered quite a lot of lashes. I'm not going to lie. Ow. Ow. Coco Amore. Gone then. Goddess. They look unreal. Sorry, they look unreal. Unicorn lashes. And guess what they're called? Cosmic Pegasus. Don't worry about us, Hans. Look at the packaging. I love unicorn lashes because their names are so cute. This one is Majestic AF. Oh yeah, you know about it. I love them because they're like really fluttery and really pretty. And what else have we got? Oh, Daddy, you're right. We've got another unicorn one in style Bambi. Chitty! Yes, Charlie. And these ones in Queen Bee that I know that Jesse Perkins and uh, Katie Lusterlux always wear, so I wanted to try them. Cute, we've got some lashes! Charlie, you're so excited about the lashes. I know, Bubs. You can't contain the excitement. That's such a nice two-piece, isn't it? Cute. 
feel like I didn't say thank you enough. Did I say thank you enough? Thanks, boo. I love you. Okay, so we're home now, but I need to tell you I'm back at it because we literally just got... Well, how many have we got left? We've got 60 orders left. 60 orders left to package and write out so we can do this. But I need to tell you this. We just went to the post office, right? And basically, we've got this thing called drop and go. And you you pay on a card and it means you don't have to queue. But then me and Dad were kind of trying to work out. Um, Let me show them. Show them yeah. this. So basically, we were thinking that it doesn't actually save you that much time because what you have to do is you have to do this drop and go thing. And then you have to write down here exactly what service is required, everyone's postcode. Then you have to package them with these things, right? And then find the barcode number, put that on each one. And basically, you've got to write a lot out. So me and Dad were like... I don't really think it saves us much time. It just saves them time because obviously if we went into the post office, they'd be doing that. So then I was like tiny bit confused. And the people in WH Smith said, you need to fill these out, didn't they? Yeah. They said, you need to fill everything out. Anyway, went into the post office in Seven Dials. What an angel Ali is. Ali is a princess. So basically, I took loads of the um, packages for Sweden, Norway, um, Australia, Australia America. America. Amazing that anyone would actually buy that. Like, we have Huns everywhere. Like, that's insane. But when I was there, we took loads of those packages. And she said, oh, you can put these in the drop and go as well. And I was like, really? And she went, we'll do these now because you haven't filled out the manifest. But the manifest, I keep calling it manifest. And she was like, well, but normally in future, just put it all in there. I'll do it. And I was like, I was like, oh, I'm so worried. I'm going to be hated here because the queue is really long. And I've got like 25 packages to give you. And then obviously I need to give you the drop and go packages, which was like 160 or something like that. Um, no, more than that, like 200. More than that. She was like, don't worry. You need to do your thing. Like you need to get your work done. She was like, don't worry about being hated. She was telling me stories about her friends, like selling things. And I was like, I love you, Ali. Then she went to me, save my number in your phone um, and always ask for me. So it's 0127. She was like, give me a number. You're gonna and, write, yeah. yeah, give her the number. No, they wouldn't know. It's, it's only the home number for the post office anyway. But oh. she told me to tell, talk to her. And she was like, right, listen, you don't need to fill out all this. She went, some people for me, they just write 25 t-shirts, all second class. And she went, you can even write a little note at the, at the bottom just saying, always give me your number so I can double check and I can call you. But she went, just write a note at the bottom saying, um, this is how much you want, this is whatever, and if any problems, call me. And she went, I'll just call you. As long as you put your number at the top, I can always call you. She went, all you need to do is fill out this and this. And I went, but we filled out all this because I said, it's been taking us hours. And she went, oh no, you don't need to do all that. She went, other people might make you, but I wouldn't. I don't do that. So I tweeted when I was there. I tweeted saying, the lady in the post office is an absolute angel. She's amazing. Post office tweeted me back saying, which branch are you at? And then I told her and she went, oh, I'm blushing. I'm blushing. I said, but you're an angel. You're an actual angel. You've helped me so much. You've been such an angel. And she went, oh, okay. And I went, I'm going to put your name and tell them where, where you were. I had to tell them. Like, all positive feedback. It's all feedback, isn't it? What an angel. I had to tell you angels. Oh, you can have that donut, yeah. <laughs> Dad, dip down because no one can see you. There you go. <laughs> so I just need to tell you that, Angel. So I feel a lot better. She started my day amazingly. What a princess. What a queen. Let's get on with the rest of the packing. I just wanted to say the sun's come out. This is amazing. Like, it's a sunny day. It's probably freezing outside, but it's sunny. Yay. I'm still here packaging goodies. You know the merch. Go on then. But it's sunny. Yay. It's probably absolutely Baltic. But it doesn't matter. We finished. We did it. Everything's boxed up and ready to go. So now we're going to go to the post office, send off those ones. But we've done it all. We did it, Daddy. Well done, Dream Team. Love you. I love myself. Oh. You got something I got mind. sent this, have I? <laughs> A little bit of black. Oh. Oh, it's mascara. What is that? It's I've got no makeup on. Well, it's not me. M um, Mark Jacobs sent me this just now, right? And it's a, like a lipstick. What is it? Oh, Imogen. Lip crayon. Liquid lip crayon. Oh, it's really... Okay, wait there. <laughs> it's really creamy, so... I wish I could hold you there, but I, I need a little mirror situation. I'm obsessed with it, but it's probably not something I would wear right now. But I'm obsessed with it. Look how nice. Yeah. Oh, I'm actually in love with this colour, Dad. I don't think you're going to like it too much. It's like neon -y. I like it. I think it's nice. I think it looks cute. Anyway, well, I'm going to take it off though because I'm going to the post office now and otherwise I'll walk in and I'll be like, we saw you earlier and now you're rocking some... But actually, I will. I can wear this. Can I wear this to the post office? This lipstick. <laughs> I don't really care. To be fair. The table can come back to but I want to eat some bread. Oh no. We're going to go to the bakery, aren't we? Maybe we'll take this off. 
I actually really like it though. Thanks, Mark Jacobs, you little angels. I need to sort out the situation. Bedroom's got to be sorted. Um, that's got to be sorted. Okay, so we sent everything. Yay, we did it. But me and Dad went and got Starbucks. I got two and he got one. I got this, right? Just a quick little vent. I feel like I'm going to tweet Starbucks. The woman, I'm allergic to dairy, and I said I'm allergic to dairy, but even though I ordered almond milk, you would think that you would put it in a non-dairy cup. So anyway, when she's blending it, I saw her put it in a dairy one, so I was like, oh babe, sorry, I'm allergic to dairy. Like, I apologise, I was like, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm allergic to dairy. So then she had the milk in this pot, and she just went and poured it into the soy one, and I was like, no, I can't explain to you, I'm very allergic. If I had that, if that has any dairy milk in it, the blender, she just swapped it from blender to blender. And I was like, I mean, it tastes lovely, so thanks very much, hun, but, you know, and she made her face at me, didn't apologise, didn't apologise at all, didn't say sorry, not once said sorry, and I was like, isn't that a bit funny, Dad? Yeah, not good. Not mm. what I expect from my own Starbucks franchise. Yeah. It's just like, I don't know. Fair enough, we all make mistakes and stuff like that. I completely understand that, but I would apologize. I'd be like, I'm so sorry. But she just poured from the dairy into the other blender. And I'm like, no, that's already touched it. I need new milk. Like you can't, I can't have anything near the dairy. On a lighter note, I really wanted to try this. So this is the Insta Strobring. Strobring? Strobring. I've already got a tiny bit on, but I want to show you me putting it on. Cause I actually thought I showed you earlier, but <laughs> didn't have the camera on. So that didn't help. But this is the Insta Strobing. This is the Insta Strobing highlighter from Rimmel London. And there's gold. I just called it Rimmel London. And there's the gold one, or there's a bronze one, or there's a light shell colour. But this reminds me of um Mac Gold Light. Look at it. Look at it. There. 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 Look at that. I'm loving it. Nothing on my face but this. Living for it. You know about that. You know, my hands. Sorry about venting about Starbucks, but you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Like, people have serious allergies, I think. I don't know. If I went to Starbucks, I'd be so worried about everyone. I couldn't work there. I'd be so worried, everyone. I'd be thinking every single minute of the day, have I put it in the right thing? Have I given her the wrong milk? Can you imagine? I'd be worrying so much. <laughs> I don't really know what my hair's saying, but I've put a little bit of tan on. It's one of those wash-off ones. It's not really... I don't normally fake tan. I don't normally fake tan, but... I thought that I'd like to be a little bit more tan for my meetup, so I've put a little bit of fake tan on. I mean, it looks like a lot, but I'm gonna wash it off. So it's the Vita Liberata one. Don't know if it's any good, but I have heard that it doesn't smell of the fake tan smell. The one I normally love is Loving Tan. If I was to tan, I would use that one because it's a really natural color. Like you look dark, but you still look natural. Do you know what I mean? This one, we'll soon see in the morning. Imagine I turn up to my meetup and everyone's like, you're right, Imogen, and I'm gonna be like, hello, I'm tan. <laughs> I was packing so much that I forgot to even have my drinks, but it's still cold because it's a cold drink. Do you know what I mean, Charlie? Do you know what I mean? If I'd have got a hot drink from Starbucks, what would we be saying now? Exactly. We'd be having to heat up, but no, no, no. Still unreal, babes. Still unreal. I've got my thermal vest on, but I'm sitting here drinking a cold drink when it's freezing outside. Don't even know. Don't even know what planet you're on, Imogen, but whatever planet you are on, it's quite fun. <laughs> I'm so weird. I don't think anyone actually understands how excited I am to meet everyone. Like, I am so excited to meet you all and say hello and say thank you for supporting me and cuddle you. And, oh, I just, I'm so excited. I can't even do it. I'm so excited to meet my honeys in Manchester and Liverpool. Angels, I'm going to paint my nails. I just put a hoodie on. I'm going to paint my nails this colour because I feel like it's a nice colour. Do you? It's like a maroony, pinky colour. Do you like it, Dad? Very pretty. Thank you. Didn't even look at it doesn't matter and Sorry, then I'm gonna put I love you I love you I'm only joking dad Charlie. okay so I'm putting this Jessica recovery base coat on first I'm terrible at painting nails as you can see can we talk about my nails yep yeah, they're horrific I know am I a girl I question it certain things I'm not very good at there's just certain things I'm not very good at and I love my mum's pieces but she didn't give me that amazing gene where she gave me lovely jeans, but she didn't give me that amazing gene where your hair grows, your nail grows really quickly, your nail, your nails grow really quickly. So my nails break, they snap. Like I'll have a little bit of a white tip and I'm like, oh, there's a white tip and then it'll snap and break. And I'm like, okay, if anyone's got any suggestions for anything like that, then holler at your gal. Because like I've only ever had fake nails once in my life. Sometimes I used to get shellac a little bit, jellish or shellac. I mean, what is girly anyway? And you know some girls, they get their nails done all the time and I'm like, babes, you're amazing. And they can wear fake nails and I'm like, how do you type? They're amazing. If you do that, hun, you you're amazing. 
but like I've never been like that. I would rather have a lip liner than my nails done. Not that I would have to choose. Don't know why I said that comparison, but you know what I mean. Do you know what I mean? No, no one knows what I mean. I think it's because my mum never got her nails done. You know when you're like around someone, she never got her nails done, ever. My mum's never had fake nails. So maybe it's that. Maybe we just got accustomed to the fact that our nails are terrible. <laughs> but I'm painting them. So this is exciting. So that's the base coat on angel faces. I'll show you them at the end. Hands. Oh my God, I look so dark in this light, don't I? Look. Look, they actually look really nice. Don't they? Wait, focus on this angels, please. Hello? Hello? Can I, do you wanna love me? Oh, I'm so rubbish with cameras. <laughs> Let me try and show you me nails. Can you see them? Let me tuck my hair behind. Well, they look nice anyway, angels. They look really nice. I'm hoping that they don't chip, but I'm gonna take this one with me instead. But I'm just watching some choreography. La, la, la. I love watching choreography on YouTube. I'm obsessed. No, please. Why, 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 why? Why, Imogen, did you just wait? It's all right, it's only a tiny bit. <laughs> I'm so rubbish. <laughs> Because I've cut my hair. No, it's just a layer angel. Charlie, I know you can't speak, but I feel like you are speaking to me. I do genuinely believe they just know dogs, don't they? I'm gonna miss you so much too, Bubba. You're gonna miss your daddy as well. Look at you, you're such an angel. I love you so much. You're a Bobby. You're a Bobby. No, don't you? You know, Bobby, I love you. You know I love you. Yeah, I love you so much. I love you. You're my angel. You're so precious to us. We're so lucky to have you. Yeah, we're so lucky. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with you. I look like I've just woken up. Sandra is here. Say hello, Sandra. We're taking Sandra to Liverpool and Manchester with us. Daddy's driving. Yeah. Designated driver. Everyone says they don't know how you do it, Dad. You do it all. You do it all. Oh, sorry, Sandra. <laughs> oh, you also hear Sandra in. <laughs> I just want to make sure I got. Okay, we're excited. I get to come to Liverpool and Manchester. Story time. There we go. Story time with Dad. Go on, then. He's telling okay, us about his driving. About driving lessons. And I swear on my life, this is true. When I first <laughs> wanted to drive a car, it wasn't until I was about 27. And I really? had two lessons back when I was about 20. But prior to that, I'd, ever, I'd only ever been driving a motorbike. And I'd taken a motorbike to south of France. I'd driven a motorbike Wee. around Switzerland. <laughs> I'd done all those things. So when I had my very first lesson, the guy said to me, OK, Ben, I told him what I'd done. He said, OK, no driving in a car for about 10, 12 years. I said, no. He went, well, let's go to Worthing. Let's just have a laugh. So, and he was with BSM school and we drove to Worthing he said um, on the way back okay let's do a reverse round the corner I'm not even going to tell you how just see what you can do I did it first time up a hill oh, reverse round the corner reverse park he turned around to me and I swear this is the God's honest truth because he'll probably watch this and he'll say and he he'll said, probably watch this no he, he wouldn't watch me he said do you know what I've never had someone in the car <laughs> on their very first lesson as good as you never what a lad so but wait the story gets better oh it gets better oh here's look so we so I'm just like what have I got myself in here no no here's the thing so I had about five or six lessons he said you know what I'll put in for your test I said okay put in for the test he said you could do it tomorrow I said well let's just have some lessons I don't mind enjoying this he said okay so wait, I don't right. mind spending my money I had, I had five six seven eight lessons then what BSM do is they give you a mock test so they give you a different instructor and she pretends it's test conditions. <laughs> so we get in the car, this lady turns up at my house, get in the car, and she said, and I just had a humongous uh, argument with mum. Argument with your mum. Yeah, I remember you telling so me. So I get I'm literally I'm in the car, I just seething. Get, I'm literally about to explode, I'm a pressure cooker. So wait for as I've gone out the door, your mum has said, Oh go on, just go and drive. Oh, that's my test! <laughs> so anyway, the woman starts driving. After five minutes, she could see this wasn't going well. She said to me, are you gonna actually pull out of the junction? I said, when I get a chance, I will. <laughs> so wait for it, the test went from bad to worse. I got home and- uh, So it was a test then? A, a mock test. Yeah, so look, he failed his first time got, and he's trying to blag she, it. <laughs> she went back to my instructor. Yeah, said, look. She went back to my instructor, don't interrupt. She went back to my instructor and she said, you told me he's the best pupil you've ever had. 
Well, I've got to tell you, he's not having his test next week, not in a million. And, D and Dave, that's what the name of the guy was, said, Ben, what happened? I went, I had an argument with the wife, and it was a nightmare. I just wanted to garrote myself. He said, well, Ben. <laughs> I don't even know what that said, word means. Still, do you still want to do the test? Of course I do. He said, okay, we still do the test. The day comes of the test. My hands out, my hands this out. This guy, who's giving me my lessons, he said, do a reverse. He said, why haven't you overtaken the bus? I said, because there's not enough room. He said, well, you have to be bloody quick then, won't you? And I thought, is this my test? Is this a setup? Is there a camera in the car? Anyway, I did it. And is it, are you on Punked? Are you on MTV Punked well, with Ashton Kutcher? Was. And then he said, are you gonna, he said, um, I'm gonna do an emergency <gasps> stop. And I thought, well, you're not doing one behind this lorry. He did an emergency stop behind a lorry. And I thought, this is just gonna be a nightmare. And then we've got to a point where there's a junction, like a T-junction. I thought this was a short story. We've no, still no, been talking for three minutes he 30. Said, he said, Ben, do a reverse part there. I said, and I thought he was trying to catch me. I said, actually, I'm not going to do it. And he said, and why is that? I said, because it's opposite a junction and there are too many cars obscuring the Why view. are you trying to tell the so test do you know what guy? He said? he said to me, just do it, will you? So I did it. I slammed it into reverse, part it. I didn't even bloody look because I'm that good. Oh, I didn't Got to the end of the up. test, and he tried to ask me some questions. I, he said, "You've passed." I got out. I was literally seething. I got my instructor. I said, "Please, can we just go over my test room in the car? I want to tell you what he did." So I said, "The cars are still here." He wanted me to reverse park here. He went, "Not possible, Ben." I said, "He said just do it and do it quick." I said, "He did really? the emergency stop here, and there was a lorry." He said, "No." He told me to overtake a bus. Here. I said, these are all the things he asked me to do. And, you and while lie. we've been talking, my indicator's been on all the time. So <laughs> <laughs> but wait for it, he said, Ben, I'm gonna put in <laughs> I'm gonna put in an official complaint because <laughs> the car is. You're telling me how could I drive and, <laughs> and he said to me, You are the best I've ever seen. And that's the truth. But uh, did you pass did you pass that day then? Of course I did first time yeah but I Every thought time. well second really because it was no, a it was a mock test <laughs> and he went back and said I can't wait back what well, can't wait you failed really time. not at all it's your okay, mum did it deliberately it's okay dad it's alright I didn't fail it's first okay time. it's okay we got you first time now. First and time. because I believe <laughs> you're driving now with the indicator I believe no not now. I believe every single person that takes a car out should have a day or a week on a scooter or a motorbike. It makes them aware of bikes. If you don't, you don't think to have that extra look. And you do need to have an extra look for a bike because some idiots on bikes don't turn their lights on. You've actually been talking for five minutes, 30 seconds. And I'm gonna wanna do! <laughs> <laughs> that's on Mrs. That's Snapchat? Mrs. Snapchat? That is salad uncut. Oh. Hello angels, we're halfway through our journey now. I'm so excited. We literally had like a little, you know when you get really tired, but I won't go to sleep because dad. Sandra can sleep anywhere in the world. <laughs> Can't you? She literally just stayed asleep while I was singing. Hour. Oh I yeah. Half an hour. Don't say that, Dad. Don't say that. Okay, so we're halfway through, but I'm gonna end the vlog now because I'm gonna start editing this vlog for tomorrow because obviously I'm gonna be at my meetup tomorrow, so I'm not gonna be able to edit. <laughs> I am fine, they're taking the mic out of me. I have the winners for the giveaway today and I've written them down. Dad's like, it's not an Oscar. <laughs> Imagine it's like an Oscar. Okay, so El Els Belfield, Daniel Armstrong, and Lauren Dix. I love you all so yeah, much. Yeah, if you want to, yeah, 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 yeah. Look at him. Oh my God. The drifter. The drifter. Outside. He's going back to the inside. Look. Oh He's my on a God. Sleep. If you're new to my channel, then please subscribe. Also, be entered for chance for the giveaway. Be entered for the chance for the giveaway. Enter for a chance to win the giveaway. All you need to do is be subscribed to my YouTube channel, subscribe to my vlog channel, turn the bell to notification on, and also follow me on my social media. I love you all so much. I'm gonna see you tomorrow, and we're gonna have the best day ever. So until next time, we're gonna love you. But I'm not gonna leave. And you have to say we're not gonna leave you, Sandra. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's in French. It's saying it in French. I'll do Sandra's for I'm not going to leave you. Dad. <laughs> That's my friend, Jackson! That's the worst friend, Jackson! No. Okay, Benji. Yeah, Benji! Benji. <laughs>